Welcome back to Movies TV Mad. You can follow me on Twitter at Movies TV Mad. And a very warm welcome to Tuesday's edition of the DC Universe Daily. On today's show, we are asking about the viability of the Snyderverse being on Netflix. Is it possible for Snyderverse to be produced by Netflix? The truth is, we don't know of the viability of the whole thing. We do know that major um, journalistic platforms are now writing articles about this situation. The Snyderverse fans are making noise and over on Vero, Zach actually liked the post talking about this very thing. So it's clear that Zack Snyder would love this to happen. He still wants to complete his Snyderverse DCEU arc. So that's a positive thing. But we don't know if Netflix want to do it. We don't know if Zaslav would do it. So like there's people saying, there's no way it would happen. Why would they do this? You know, well, those people could be right, but they don't know 100%. If they're right, you know, they're just dismissing things just like that. So, you know, without knowing, it's like when they were saying, oh, the Snyder Cut can never happen. It happened. Fancy that. It doesn't matter why and how it happened, but we got a four hour brilliant, delicious version of Zack Snyder's Justice League, and they can never take that away from us. But we're asking for more. So just because we don't know if it's possible or not, it doesn't mean we shouldn't fight for it. If we didn't fight for the Snyder Cut, then AT&T wouldn't have known they could make money from it. We know why they did it. They wanted to, you know, they wanted to hype up their new streaming service. We know that they didn't have any content because they're WB after all. But it happened because they knew there was an audience for it. And Zack Snyder's Justice League Snyder Cut was very successful for HBO Max, um, Warner Media and AT&T. There's no question about that. And this would be very, very successful for Netflix. But we don't actually know if anyone is actually interested on either side of doing this. But if we don't make our voices heard, then we've got absolutely no chance of this happening. For all we know, Netflix could come out today, tomorrow, and the next day via Variety or uh, The Hollywood Reporter and say, sorry guys, this ain't happening. We ain't paying for this. End of story. And that's okay. At least we can say we tried. This would probably be the last chance saloons of getting Zach's vision for the DCEU and the Snyderverse out there. Um, because there really isn't any other viable way. I can't see any, any viable way. And that would be a tragedy. But while they don't say anything, while they don't say no, we keep on fighting and see what's happening. And we see what can happen with this. Because I think it's worth the fight. And certainly there's going to be a trending event. And that will be interesting as well. I don't know if Zaslav can take DC and give, net, you know, for a price, give Netflix a portion of the DCIP and allow Zack Snyder to do this. I don't know if Netflix can afford to pay, uh, give Zack Snyder lots of money to make Snyderverse DC movies. I don't know. I don't know if any of this is viable, but I do know from our side of it, the fan side of it, it's worth a try. And if you don't ask, you don't get. We are not hurting anyone by this hashtag. There is no question about that. You lot who want your MCU, DC Universe, you're going to get it. You're going to get it. So you're not being hurt by this campaign. The only thing that could hurt WB is that it does happen. And the Snyderverse is more successful than James Gunn's DC Universe. Now what I want is for James to do something awesome and epic and for Zack to do something awesome and epic. So I know one of those directors can give me great DC because he's already given me great DC. I always know what Zack Snyder is going to give me in terms of movies and especially 
DC. And, you know, the way he makes uh, films is my bag. They are epic. They look great. The stories are compelling. And the commentary in the movies are always fantastic. So I know Zach will finish this off in a great way. I think it's a story worth telling. I think it's a story worth finishing. And I want to see more. There could also be a situation here where maybe, and you know, of course I'm spitballing here, this could be an impossibility as well, where Netflix could actually have the air cut released on their platform as well, if WB don't want to have that on HBO Max. Don't forget, they're stupid, so they're WB. I mean, you know, personally, I think the air cut being released on HBO Max will put butts on seats, but if they don't want to do it, that's up to them. I personally think releasing the Snyderverse and funding Zack Snyder to do more Snyderverse movies on HBO Max is an excuse to print money. But if they don't believe that, if they're that stupid, let Netflix invest totally in this by paying to get be able to use the DCIP and trademark and fund what Zack Snyder's doing and let them make the profits. Now, obviously, WB would make automatic money because Netflix would have to pay for the use of the DC trademark and would have to fund this thing. And as I say, we don't really know if it's viable for Netflix to spend on this. We don't know if WB are willing to do this. We don't know anything. There could be no discussions. Maybe they haven't even thought about it. I doubt it because WB are desperate for money. But we do know, as we've discussed many times before, that WB are licensing out some of the stuff they've taken off HBO Max. Some shows they've cancelled will end up on other platforms. But this we must be clear when we're discussing this because I don't want to ill-inform or misinform people about this. It's one thing to have a TV show on another streaming platform, but we're talking about DC. DC content is already being produced via Warner Brothers. So you would be having DC content being produced by other people. Netflix. Netflix is its own Hollywood studio. So it's a little bit different. And as I say, I don't know about the possibility but I do feel it's worth shouting from the rooftops that us as fans would love this to happen. It's not a negative thing. It's not a toxic thing. It doesn't hurt anyone. It's not going to hurt DC Universe. DC Universe can do their things and go in their different direction. And that's okay. And Zach can do his stuff. Considering Gunn is doing a kind of relaunch... We don't know how connected Zack's universe will be to that. I don't think it will be at all connected. We're going to soon find out very, very soon how this is going to work out. Because damned if I know. But I'm very, very excited about this campaign to try and convince WB and Netflix to allow Zack to finish off his Snyderverse arc. And I'm absolutely behind it. I think there's positive. This is just 100% positivity. And I haven't seen positivity within the Snyderverse fandom like this and fighting for something in a positive way since we were fighting to release the Snyder Cut. And it has that kind of environment and aroma around it, the possibility. People are getting ready to do this. They're doing this. Um, and I think it's a bloody good idea if it's possible and WB and Netflix want to do it. But I don't know personally if it's viable, possible, or they're even interested in doing this. So, you know, Netflix haven't come out yet. They may come out and they may poo-poo on this idea. We don't know. Um, but while they're keeping quiet, you know, there's hope. You know, it's one of those situations where you just don't know, you know, such is the unpredictability of the industry right now because they're, you know, they're really digging deep into the mire to raise money because they've destroyed their own industry via negative extreme left propaganda and created bankruptcy. 
We see it with every release that they're doing. So there's definitely money in doing this. There's no question about that. How much money there is in doing this, I, have, I haven't got the foggies. But I do know there's potential in doing this. Um, if they could do this, you know, it would be sensational. It would be a great end to the story, finally, because I do believe that Zach has something, you know, viable and compelling and amazing to show and tell his audience. And by having it on Netflix, there's no worry about cinematic releases and stuff like that. I think it would do Netflix a big favour. I think Netflix are doing OK. They've lost subscribers since the pandemic, but they're doing OK. Their share prices are going back up. And I think this could really work out for Netflix. They definitely get new subscribers for this. And it would be a very exciting situation. So all we can do is fight for this. I believe it's, it's a good fight. And we'll see. We'll see what happens with it. And, you know, no one can look. No one can tell you 100% sure that this is possible. But they, you know, someone from the Snyderverse fandoms sniffed something somewhere and has decided to push this. And as you can see, the release James Gunn hashtag is getting less and less and less. And now they're doing sell the Snyderverse to Netflix hashtag. And it's in the thousands. And I think the trending event will be very successful next month as well. So that's what we can do. That's what we can do. We can join in. If you want to support this, support this. If you don't want to support it, don't support it. And I'm sure there's going to be people that are already going to be saying this would never happen. It's an obvious thing to say. Why would this happen? Why would they do this? Because of money. Now, you know, and I, I've seen some really big journalists. I mean, Forbes have done an article about this already. So people are talking about it. We've got the right people to talk about this. So there's no question. Netflix now know, thanks to the media, that this is a thing fans would love to happen. They're supportive of Zack Snyder. It may not be possible to do for legal reasons, for financial reasons, you know, a multitude of reasons, because I don't know exactly how these things work. And for all the people saying this is an impossibility, they neither know how all these things work and why it can't happen or why it can happen. But we do know that WB are leasing out some of their content. They're doing this. They're doing this already. We don't know if it can be done in terms of DC and the Snyderverse, but it will be a way to quiet the noise for WB. It would get the Snyder fans on side because they are very loud and they do spread a lot of information that's a bad look for WB and James Gunn. Now, people will say, well, you shouldn't really bend the knee to people like this. But at the end of the day, the fans didn't start this battle. WB and multiple previous leaderships started this. And we know what they did to Zack Snyder. We know how they brought Joss Whedon to castrate Zack Snyder's Justice League. What happened? They promised Joss Whedon a Batgirl movie. When Justice League failed, his 30 pieces of silver was revoked. Because these are the type of people you are dealing with in this industry. They lied that Zack Snyder stepped down from Justice League because of the death of his daughter. Of course, that would be a very good reason. If I had a daughter and she had taken her own life, I probably wouldn't be able to get up in the morning. But this wasn't the truth of the situation. He was mourning his daughter, as well as fighting Jeff Johns and Toby Emmerich, and having Joss Whedon on his set while trying to mourn the death of his daughter. It was disgusting. It was despicable. And these are the truths of this situation. So if this can be done, it should be done. And if it can't be done, it can't be done. But we have mouths and we have hands to type on and we can fight for this. 
and, and see where this takes us at the end of the day. And I'm sure the DC YouTubers out there with big followings will give you a hundred billion reasons why this isn't possible. But while nobody says, while nobody from official channels doesn't say it's not possible, it's at least has potential to it. Because if it can be done, everybody wins. Warner Brothers Discovery, Netflix, but especially the fans. We can see Henry Cavill back as Superman. We could definitely see Ray Fisher as Cyborg. This would be the only way. Because Ray would love to work with Zack and play that character again. He'd love to work with Netflix. It would be freaking an amazing situation. You would get the band back together. Um, so, yeah. If you want this to happen, fight for it. Hashtag sell the Snyderverse to Netflix. That's not how it's going to work, by the way. You don't sell the Snyderverse to Netflix. They'll have to lease out the DC trademark. And, you know, uh, Netflix and WB would have to negotiate long and hard because it is a complicated situation. It isn't easy, but it also, I don't think, is improbable. Uh, I don't. I think if, if, if all sides wanted to do this, there's a way of doing it. But the reality you have to face, and I have to face, is that this may not be possible. But fight for it. Fight for it. Because there's been a lot of things in history that people have fought for that looked an impossibility. It looked an impossibility for women to ever have equal rights and get the vote. Many women sacrificed their lives to make this happen. And it happened. There's been many times when the people, the ordinary grunts in the world, fought for something that was right. And everyone said, why are you fighting for this for? You know, it's impossible. Why are you doing this? But they fought and, you know, justice was done. It's like what I say about, you know, the cost of living crisis right now. What would happen over in the UK right now if not one of you paid your energy bills? Not one of you. They'd have to put those effing prices down, wouldn't they? That's the power that you, the public, have. But unfortunately, you're easily convinced you don't have that power. You do. And you have this power to show Netflix and WB that this is a viable situation. You know, it's never going to be a situation where Zack Snyder runs DC, the central universe of DC, with Warner Brothers Discovery. James Gunn has now got that job. I mean, when you look at situations like, you know, Zachary Levi going on holiday with Peter Saffron, the co-head chair of DC Studios and his family, you know, it's a stacked deck. You know, there's been this conversation about nepotism in Hollywood and Hollywood denying it. And, you know, this whole family business thing. But it's so corrupt. Zachary Levi our very own Shazam going on holiday with the co-chair of DC Studios tells you what a corrupt industry this is. And I'm quite sure Levi will keep his position going from the DCEU to DC Universe because he's good pals with Saffron. I mean, is that how it works? Yes, that's how Hollywood works because Henry Cavill is never going to be going on holiday with Peter Saffron. Is he? So the only way we get to see Henry Cavill as Superman again is via Zack Snyder's Snyderverse continuing over on Netflix. And it's a worthy fight. It's a fight we may lose. We, we keep on fighting. We try at least. And at least we can, you know, we can fail, but we failed by trying. Because sitting there and saying, this is not possible. This can't happen. Listening to the naysayers for some reason who don't want this to happen, even though it doesn't affect their bag full of fresh air, their MCU type DC universe from happening. That is happening. You're getting your Superman. You're getting a new Batman. So you're getting all this stuff. Good for you. I'm happy for you. I'll support all DC until I see it in the cinema. And if I don't like it, I'll say I don't like it. If I love it, I'll be honest. There's no agendas with me and there's no agendas here on Movies TV Mad. But, so what, can, what kind of have we kind of come to terms with here? 
Well, the A, we don't know if this can happen. B, we don't know if it's viable or if it's legally possible because of copyright reasons or if Netflix want to do it or WB want to do it. We don't know any of those things. And as long as we don't know those things, that's a good thing because that means it hasn't been shot down. Well, as I say, once it is shot down, we can move on and we're just going to have to enjoy Zach's free movies that he did with and for DC, which were absolutely and outstanding, that are growing old really, really well. And nobody can take those films away from Zack Snyder or us. But there is an opportunity here. I really believe it. And I see confidence growing amongst the Snyderverse fandom. They can see that this is, has a slight possibility. And it's worth a fight. And it's worth seeing what happens. And when Zack Snyder likes a post talking about this situation, you know that's a positive move. Or at least he is interested in that situation arising as well. So that's a good thing. Zack Snyder's not saying stop doing this. He wants to do this. He loves DC. He's obsessed with DC. He wants to finish what he was doing with the Snyderverse. So while there's life, there's hope. So there's a tad of hope here. And a tad of hope is better than no hope. This has been Tuesday's edition of the DC Universe Daily with me, Mick, your host, with the most just ask your girlfriends and your wife. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss this beautiful perfection. And I'll see you again in the next video. Until I see you again, goodbye, au revoir, auf Wiedersehen.